friends, it's Coach V. Good day to you. This workout is part of my 30-day Pilates challenge. The link is down below. It's free. It's right above my 30-day power yoga challenge. All body weight, great for everybody. Bookmark it, share it on. I'm going to film this workout, then I'm heading home to do episode three as part of my new podcast. It's called Fitness Unleashed with Sean. As of now, it's available on pretty much every major platform for podcasts. Still adding a few in there, but the link is down below. Subscribe to my new podcast. Very, very, been using the word jazzed a lot lately. I'm also very jazzed to be filming into the woods, into the woods, in the woods, into the woods. Let's go. Little pebbles stuck on my feet, but nothing dangerous. Check in below before you begin this workout. This is great for evenings. Of course, you can do it anytime during the day, but want to start on our feet, eventually on our backs, and then boom, out for the night. There is something underneath here. Okay. All right, we'll just work around that. Let's come to the back edge of our mat, breathing in the nose and out the mouth. Modify as needed and always use control. Inhale, take those shoulders up and back a few times. Shoulder rolls. Going to do a little series of Pilates push-ups with some different options so we can get the heart rate up, warm up the body, and then release. Tuck the chin, diving down, forward fold. Get that rock out of there, let the spine release. Let's walk the legs a few times. Definitely in this 30-day Pilates challenge, the last number of Pilates workouts, most of them have really upped the intensity. So here's a chance to kind of cool it down a bit. And never, ever be afraid to take a day off. I encourage it. You have 30 days of Pilates workouts. Doesn't mean you do them all in 30 days. It's 30 days, no matter what. No, Eddie's digging. All right, let's walk it out to plank position. There we are. Hands are on the shoulders, elbows in. Take three deep breaths. In the nose, out the nose. Oh, I need hazard pay. Take two more breaths right here. In the nose, out the mouth. Let's do Pilates breath. Let me get my focus back. The breath usually makes that very easy. Okay, walk back. Knees a little soft, tuck the chin, rising up. Hey, we got some sun poking out from somewhere. A couple shoulder rolls. There it is. And dive down again, walking out. Hold for three breaths. Get some heat in the body, let the blood flow, elbows in, press the heels back. And modify with your knees down. Walk it back. All right, shoulders back and down, shoulders back and down. Tuck the chin, the head is very heavy. Let it assist you on your downward trajectory. I have a little tight muscle in my right upper back, so this is, I, I like to move when that happens. Get some blood flow, not too much, nothing jarring. <sighs> nothing too extreme, but it beats just sitting on the couch all day. Wanna get out and move and walk, do some gentle Pilates. All right, walk it back, walk it back. Rise up, build that spine. <sighs> oh, hello. One more time to the plank. <sighs> Press the heels back, very nice. Elbows are in. Breathe into every part of the body. Okay, let me know if she gets near again. Walking up. <sighs> rising, rising, rising. Shoulders back and down. So just four more times, we're gonna do the scorpion. Scorpion. So press forward, lower down, drop your knees if you wish. Arms can be out, I'm gonna keep them on here just cause I'm out in the wilderness. Drop the right leg over the left. Nice stretch if you like, take this right arm back as well. There's the sun. I usually like to film in the sun, but I decided today it was overcast. Let's go in the woods, seems Seems appropriate for an evening, evening Pilates. All right, to the center. Get that out of there. Other side. Add that twist. There's that twist. As you exhale, reach back. Feel it out. Not afraid to get a little dirty, a little schmutzig. One more breath, back. Oh, oh, that's good. All right, back to the center. Pop it up and let's walk back. Let's 
So we're getting all that nice movement, that mobility in the spine. And dive down, Eddie's eating unknown grass. Walk it out, scorpion, bring it down. Again, if you like, you can reach back, grab the foot, another variation. Two breaths. Good, other side. Enjoying this beautiful summer day. I hope wherever you're training from that it's delightful. Back up, pop up to plank, walk back. Good, articulate the spine, rounding, rounding, rounding. Oops, okay, a couple shoulder rolls. Again, dive down, walk it out. Down we go. Your choice. Let me, I'm gonna tuck, because I have a problem. Okay, there we are. Pulling back. Again, take the arms back if you like. You could deepen that twist, taking the foot all the way back. Let's go to the other side. Trying to stay on my mat. <laughs> One more time. Up to plank, walk back. Tuck the chin, stack it. Good form, always good form. Let's go down one more time. And open. I'm gonna do this one this time, there we are. Think about stretching the, these abdominals too, the front of your body, the sides, the obliques, uh, they really, we neglect a lot. We think lower back. Let's also think abdominals. Let's tuck in that shirt. Other side. Okay, bring it back. Pop up once more. Walk back. Rising up. Shoulders back and down. Two extra shoulder rolls. As you head into bed in a little bit, you want that posture to be very clean, very clean. Come on down for bird dog. Hands and knees position, hands are on the shoulders, she's in the bush. Ten times, opposite arm, opposite leg. Is the rope going to get me? It's like I'm at some exclusive club. Inhale forward, exhale down. Three, four, five, smooth. Six. Oh, she has that look in her eye. Look, eight, nine, will I be spared? Probably not. Ten, hands and knees position, round up, cat stretch. Hi, sweetie. Or dog stretch. Round up, articulate the spine. Woo. Drop the stomach down to cow. Shoulders back, little arch in the lower back. A nice limber spine will definitely assist you in your sleeping, in your body's ability to relax and let go. Round up again, cat. Tuck the chin. Cow. Mm. Coo. Take an extra breath. All right, relax that spine. Ten more bird dogs. One. Two, three, very smooth form. Four, and five, All right, we just, come on, there we go. Six, kept trying to be in the shot. Seven, Addy's gonna take out the camera. Eight, Addy, nine, and 10 again. Cat, round up, tuck the chin. Let's take our time, stretch that spine. Drop down, cow. Elbows in, butt in the air. One more time, cat. And cow, how'd she get over there? Addy, wait, don't pull down the camera. Cow, all right, shake it out. Oh. Quick thinking, Pilates teaches very quick reaction time. Okay, come on down, rowing from the hips, rowing from the hips. Let's release some more of that stress. It's more of that tension we feel in our bodies. Bring the legs together, bend the knees. You need to modify a little bit. Hands by the hips. Exhale, sweep forward. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, open the arms, cactus arms. Keep going. Inhale, prep. Exhale through the mouth. Belly button to spine. And pull. Deep breaths. Exhale a little bit more every time. Often the exhale is neglected. We teach and talk more about those big inhales, bringing the oxygen in. But if the exhale does not match the inhale, Joseph Pilates say your, your lungs can become like a cemetery. You get sludge in there and sediment when they aren't properly worked. Keep it going. I'm going to give you an option here. If you wish to add eh, possibly a little bit more, cross the right leg over the left and continue. Now we smush the back of the left leg down. Open the chest, open the shoulders two more times and then switch other leg if that's what you are doing. And again. Okay, keep it going. If you cross the legs, left over right, four more times. Big opening. Like if you go back, it was my seated Pilates workout that's in this 30-day challenge. Do a whole rowing sequence. This one and a couple others. Very, very effective. Total body conditioning. And last one. And pull. Let's go to the saw. My dad's favorite. Heels to the outside edges. Ten repetitions. Twist. Pinky finger, pinky toe. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Right, isn't it? She's over there. She's a derrière from me. Four. Five. Pilates in the woods. Let's get some t-shirts printed up. And twist. Seven. Look to the back arm. Eight. Two more. Loosen up the lower back. That bodes well for a good night's sleep. Seated twist, take it slow, legs together, bend the knees, feel a little tight, arms out. Pulse, pulse, back to center. Ten more times. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Lift through the movement. Shoulders back and down. There we go. We're on number five. Actually, I'm going to turn my palms forward. I like that. It feels a little better to me, a little more accurate in my movements. Fortunately. I lost count. I'm going to do one more. Oh, beautiful. Chest expansion. A couple new options here, but definitely good for increasing the breath and getting some nice postural movements in the mix. There's the sun. So on the knees, if this is too much, sit cross-legged. Are you still on? Okay. I want you to inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, pull them back. Exhale through the mouth. All the breath out of the lungs. There's the chest expansion. <sighs> Bring it up again. I'm going to add something here. You're going to exhale forward. This brings back memories when I taught at Walt Disney World. I'm going to add it on the next one. Inhale up. Exhale down. As you open the chest, look side to side. Yeah, I used to teach this at, uh, I think, Disney University and Imagineering. <sighs> when I... Every day, Monday through Friday, I go backstage all these different places at Walt Disney World to work with cast members. Yoga and Pilates. Good. Let's do four more. Exhale. Squeeze every drop from the lungs. Expand the chest. Look side to side. I want that jaw to be relaxed. You could, you know, look to the other side first. No one's going to say anything. Exhale, ring out the lungs, ring them out. All right, one more time. Ah, oh, side to side. All right, keep it here or cross legged. It. It's called the lotus. It's called the Sw Swakate or Swakati series. It's an old classic Pilates series. I picked this up in one of my favorite Pilates books by Daniel Lyons Jr. Take the arms out. Inhale, reach up. Shoulders down, engage the core. Exhale, pull back down. Sitting tall, 
Work on the posture, Eddie's okay. Let's do 10 more. Two. Three. Four, I like it. Oh, feel that burn in the shoulders, but it's a constant reminder to keep our posture pristine and crisp. Shoulders back and down, chest open. And of course, every movement we do in this life, every movement, keep the breath behind it, strong, sturdy, always accountable. We'll do two more. All right, up, bring it down. Last one is called profile. Bring the arms up in this series. Bring your forearm down and reach. Kind of a side bend, 10 times. Inhale up. You could bend down a little further, that's okay. There's two. Reach up or over, bending the elbow. Fill and empty the lungs. Who is Phil? I'm going to do one more. All right. Oh, I have so much dirt on the tops of my feet. Let's turn. Shake it out. Get off the feet. There we go. And bring it down. Single leg stretch. Single leg stretch. Ten times. Let's start to quiet down the heart here. Right knee in, left leg out, but deep. Gobs of breath. Ten times. One, two, three. Four, five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Single straight leg stretch, ten times. One exhale this time. So we're gonna exhale, pull, and lift the upper body, and then release as you scissors. Two, fill the lungs, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Squeeze them out, squeeze them out. A little slower. We should do an entire workout just with this one. Nice and slow. Last one. Double leg stretch six times. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, come in. Keep the knees and elbows nice and soft. Very effortless. Head can be down as well. Six times. Here's three. And four. Start to relieve and release certain parts of the body here. So we're not doing that total Pilates squeeze all the time. Now bring the head down, tips of the toes to the mat, windshield wipers drop side to side. As you exhale, drop, feel that release, feel the length down the spinal column in the lower back, letting gravity and body weight naturally lengthen the spine. Am I the only one? My pockets, maybe it's these kind of pants. The pockets like to fly out every time I'm doing Pilates. Pilates for pockets. Oh, could also take the arms overhead if you like. One more time each side. <laughs> oh, just glorious, just glorious. All right, let's do one more, one more exercise here. The bridge, the bridge, because the, the pillows here were getting all sleepy. You hear Brahms lullaby in the background. Feet a couple inches apart. Inhale, lift up, pelvis tilted up. You peel the spine off the mat. Inhale, tall. Exhale, come right back down. Take an extra breath here. Inhale, lift, pelvis up. Rising, losing the sun. There goes Addy. Oh, hello. Little rope burn on the back of my head. Keep it going. Pelvis lifts up. I'll control the dog from here. A little Pilates multitasking. And massage that spine on the way down. So you're, you're lifting the pelvis. So you're letting the top of the spine start first and trickle, 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 trickle down. Oh, I fell into a burning ring of spine curls. 
and down. Controlling the dog. She really wants to yank the entire tripod and camera down. Good. Massage the spine, the muscles of the spine, the paraspinals. Again, you could do what you want with the arms. Reach them overhead as you lift up and pull them back down. I'm just going to... Oh, look at her. She's peering at us from behind the tree. Hey, give a thumbs up afterwards if, if you train with your dog and your dog likes to get involved. Let's do two more. In the nose, out the mouth. I don't care which distractions are around you. This is a great illustration right here. We stay focused. We get our workout in no matter what it is, and we do it with pride and focus. All right, my friends, come on down. Knees into the chest, rocking side to side. Still breathing. <laughs> that might sound weird, but still keep the emphasis on the breath, in the nose, out the mouth, until you do it enough where it becomes the norm. Computers and cell phones have default settings. The camera I'm filming this on has default settings. We want to set all of our settings, our defaults, to the best possible ones. Best posture, best breath, best alignment, focus. That's been my goal, one of my big goals in life. So the habits are positive, they are effective. Okay. All right, my friends. Right on time, Addy. Extend the legs out. You can end it right here. Maybe you're going to bed. Maybe your dog's digging a hole behind you. Hopefully she pulls out some gold or at least silver bars. <sighs> Take some deep breaths right here. Feel that release in your body. And I'll see you tomorrow for more in my 30-day Pilates challenge, which is also your 30-day Pilates challenge. Link is down below right next to the that link, oh, it's so shiny, for the 30-day Power Yoga Challenge. I have you covered. Check in, like the video if this helped. Subscribe. Take another deep breath. And check out my new podcast, Fitness Unleashed with Sean. Link is down below. I'm heading home right now to film episode three. We're discussing fitness training in high school, our own experiences and also what other people may experience as well. Definitely a great series we've been working on. Oh, and it only gets better. So a pleasure, my friends. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Stay consistent, stay focused, stay hungry. And I will always be here in video form, person form, addy form, somewhere in the woods, somewhere in the mountains of Colorado to keep training with you because I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. God bless. See you next time. <sighs> On my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes, over 100 yoga poses for all ages and fitness levels, as well as 25 complete yoga flows and training logs for all the major sports. Get your copy today, or perhaps you do better with four copies.